Hello students, welcome to the ninth day of school. Ready to count with me? Here we go. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth day of school. Let's take our stretch. Remember, you need to find a place where you have some space. Get ready to stretch as tall as you can while you take in a deep breath. Or maybe you're stretching kind of back to let your stomach stretch and fill up full of air through your lungs, okay? And then let it out with a big sound like a noisy balloon. Here we go. <laughs> Into downward frog. When I'm down here, I'm getting a stretch in my, can you say it? Ankles. I wiggle and I get a bit of a stretch in my knees. I wiggle and I get a bit of a stretch in my hips. Okay, I'm gonna drop my head down, keep my hands on the floor and stretch my legs. And I'm gonna roll up. So, I'm going to enjoy my breathing, my feet, our shoulder width apart, my arms are hanging at my side. And since today is Friday, while I enjoy my breathing, I'm going to make a picture in my mind of someone or something that I am thankful for, that I'm looking forward to, to spending time with if it's a person or looking forward to doing more of on the weekend. So let's close our eyes and breathe in and out. And in and out and you want to get a picture in your mind of someone who is looking forward to spending more time with you on the weekend they're gonna be so happy to see you and you'll be happy to spend more time with them and get a picture in your mind of that person as you breathe in and out and while you have a picture of that person in your mind, send them hearts. You can send them love by using your imagination and sending hearts to that person wherever they are. Maybe they're just in the next room. Maybe they're at work. Send them some love. Keep breathing in and out and in and out. Gently open your eyes, okay? Let me fix the camera and we'll take a look at our poem. Hello students. Before we look at our poems today, I want to remind you that our meeting time, our poems, this is all an active time for you. So you should be participating. You should be counting with me when I count the days that we've been in school. You should be reciting, right? Or that means saying over again the poem with me. Um, singing the songs with me. Okay, so want to be sure that you are doing what I'm doing as much as you can. Okay, let's take a look at our poem that we've been enjoying all week. September. In September, for a while, I will ride a crocodile down the chicken soupy Nile. We could do some actions like paddling. Ready? Paddle once. Paddle twice. Paddle chicken soup with rice. So before we go to our next poem, I had a great reminder from a student the other day when we were talking about holidays we will celebrate in September. I'm sorry, but I did not have a very special holiday on my calendar, and it's the holiday today called Rosh Hashanah. It's a Jewish holiday that celebrates the new year. And some of the symbols for Rosh Hashanah, which I have on my new calendar marker, are honey and apples. And you can wish each other a sweet year, a sweet new year. So it's Rosh Hashanah today, and happy sweet year, sweet new year to those who celebrate Rosh Hashanah. Okay, let's go ahead now, take a look at the other... Good citizens, watch for others when you walk. Raise your hand before you talk. Listen to what the teachers say. Keep the classroom clean each day. 
But what's the most important rule? Do your very best at school. Okay, and there's gonna be a connection between this poem and my message. So hold on, let me get the message ready. Actually, I don't really have to stop the video. I can just take the poem September down and we can take a look at our message. I don't need my glasses for that. September 18th, 2020. Dear students, how will you be a good citizen at home this weekend? Be ready to share. Mrs. Kilmer. That's interesting. Let me reread. It says, how will you be a good citizen at home this weekend? So it says how, how, so I know it's a question something is missing. Look at the end of the sentence. It's a period. What do we need to have here if this is a question? We need a question mark, right? We need a question mark, not a period. Okay, so let me erase my period and make a question mark because I'm asking a question. Here we go. Let's ask it again. How will you be a good citizen at home this weekend? Be ready to share. Mrs. Kilmer. Okay. So, how will you be a good citizen? Right? Being a good citizen means being a helpful member of your community and following the rules. And your home and your family, your neighborhood, that's a community. So, I want you to be thinking, and I'm going to ask you in a minute, uh, to share about this, and if you're watching the video on your own, I want you to think, what will you do this weekend to be a good citizen at home? Bye.